welcome. My name is Dragana and I'm a clinical pharmacist and probiotic expert. I will be taking you through some informational videos on the topic of probiotics. These videos are made in collaboration with the Canadian Digestive Health Foundation. And now we are going to look at how to choose the right probiotic for your needs and talk a little bit about a project called the Clinical Guide to Probiotic Products. If we want to know what probiotics we should choose, most of us head to good old Dr. Google. And as you can see, even if you get more specific with what you're looking for, it really doesn't narrow down the results. A simple Google search for what probiotics should I use or what are the safe and effective probiotics or what are those with clinical evidence really will provide millions of hits. This was one of the reasons why we undertook the challenge to make the selection easier when it comes to choosing the probiotic for specific reason. We try to make it easy for a clinician to recommend a probiotic. Clinicians are busy in their practices anyway. So we have designed a reference guide based on published clinical evidence basically to help them choose the right probiotic for their patient for the right reason. We fondly refer to this publication as the probiotic chart, can be found on social media as the hashtag probiotic chart. This clinical guide to probiotic products is renewed annually. Every year, we work on updates to reflect any changes to probiotic strains in products already on the market, we also look at the new published evidence and uh, growing research in the field of probiotics. In the guide, we list all the conditions or indications that have been studied in our abbreviation list. Note that the list of indications is not necessarily reflective what the companies uh, market their products towards or what you can find on the labels of the probiotics. These are clinical outcomes noted in a study. And here you can see an example of one of the pages of the probiotic chart. It might look like a lot of information, but let me break it down into simpler terms. When you look at the first column, is the brand name of the probiotic product. This is what you see on the shelves in a pharmacy. Uh, the list is for ease of recommending a probiotic to selecting it on the shelf. Um, for example, if your doctor tells you that you should drink more dihydrogen monoxide, you would likely be terrified. But if they told you to drink more water, it would make more sense. Basically, those two are the same thing. So we do not use uh, Latin names, we use the brand names that you can recognize. Along with the brand names, uh, we identify the specific probiotic strains that are present within the product in the next column. Sometimes there are multiple products that contain the same probiotic strain, while others have proprietary strains that belong to only one brand. Along the top of the table, we list the indications. When uh, you're choosing a probiotic, you simply find the indication you're treating and follow the column down to choose the most appropriate probiotic based on a one to three level of evidence, uh, with one being the best or strongest evidence. One important detail I like to point uh, is that you can see there are many blank spaces on this chart. Not every probiotic can be used for all indications. When we zoom in more closely, for example, under the indication for colic, numeral one indicates that this is the level of evidence, level one being the highest. Maple leaf logo implies that this particular product has been approved by Health Canada for this specific indication. And lastly, there is a series of numbers that is 
indicating the corresponding references or studies we reviewed to assign this level of evidence to the product and indication. Guide also contains notifications what products need to be stored in the fridge, as you can see here with the listing for Renew Life Flora Baby. Additionally, we have added gluten-free designation uh, to products that meet this criteria. Collaboration of partners supporting education in the field of probiotics or a probio or alliance for education and probiotics helps us publish and distribute the guide uh, to clinicians. Printed format contains four tables and every year we expand to reflect currently available probiotics with solid evidence. Probiotic uh, guide contains adult health table, pediatric health table, vaginal health, and functional foods with added probiotics. The guide is also available online at www.probioticchart.ca, where you can explore the product and indication, look at the references, or print your desired selection, and much more. Additionally, our probiotic chart mobile apps are available on the App Store as well as the Google Play for download on iOS as well as Android devices, and it is free to download. Other places to find us are on our YouTube channel, a ProBio or Alliance for Education and Probiotics, as well as subscribing to our monthly newsletter at www.aprobio.com. As our mission is to assist in matching the right probiotic for a right person and for the right reason, it is always a good idea to have your healthcare provider involved in decision making. So make sure to talk with your doctor, your pharmacist, dietitian before taking any probiotic supplement.